Good, everybody. Well, happy Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, yeah. So um, we got the uh, the keys for the new job yesterday, but uh, we are not going to have material till next week. So um, yeah, unfortunately, we we're going to have the weekend off. <laughs> Uh, but um, we'll be framing next week and hey man deep what's happening brother good to see you my man good to see you uh, but yeah we came in and uh, started layout uh, it's almost complete we just have uh, there's some layout there's some lines to, to finish snapping when we uh, we got to get rid of the these two gravel piles <laughs> again I never shovel gra never shovel gravel man it's been the last two jobs i've been shoveling gravel it's crazy hey dibs hey eddie what's happening guys good to see you guys man good to see you guys so damn ads eh? well i appreciate you guys watching the ads i do i really do but um so yeah uh we got a, a wall we uh go, a false wall going up 10 feet the entire um the entire run okay of this wall they want a false wall uh, because they want to plywood it for backing and other things. No stream, just buffer, really? It's not buffering for me. Well, I hope it's not buffering for you guys. Oh man, that's too bad, Dibs. But, and then I have another wall. This wall here, this six inch wall, goes all the way up. And it's weird, it's five eighths on one side and half inch on the other. I don't know why it's not all five eighths, but it's just, it is what it is. Um, we have our kitchen. This is our kitchen here, okay? So uh, actually big, nice kitchen, guys. Really nice open area here. Uh, we have a T-bar, a T-bar ceiling, okay, uh, in here. And there's going to be a bulkhead that goes all the way down across here and connects into this wall and then there's a little area here yeah always clean but always clean yes sir <laughs> uh, there it will be exposed to deck and then this hallway here will be exposed to deck as well all of this hallway will be exposed to deck so uh, we have um, uh, like a, a handicap washroom here right so hence this funky wall that comes out doo -doo, is to fit the wheelchair stall in here and we have a men's bathroom here this is like wi uh, women women's and wheelchair I, I can't remember if this is men's and wheelchair i can't remember i don't know i'm confused anyways there's two bathrooms here nice size bathrooms uh hallway out this is the office for the office the the walk-in freezer will be between the office and the other bathroom here so we have this a little bathroom here and we're going eight inch 20 gauge because this will have the water heater will be on top of it so we're going to go up like eight or, or sorry we're going to go up nine feet or something i don't know and then there, then we're then we're going to put in a, a lid on and then um yeah yeah plywood and that's where the um yeah i know this again with the freaking gravel eh i know just gravel at least the concrete is back in i know um I don't, I think maybe they're putting a drain, like a floor, like a grate here for the drain or something. I don't know what that's all about, uh, but that could be the same, what's going on there as well. Like a, one of the grates or something, the, you know, the drain pits or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're, we posted this, somebody to come and pick up this gravel for free, but um, no real takers yet. So I, I wish I could take it. Like I, I could actually use it for my, the concrete I got to do at the house, but um, I don't know. I just, maybe I will. It's I'm not, I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll take it to my house and use it for the concrete around the uh, studio. It's quite a bit there. So it's a good, it's a good haul. Um, but yeah, so we were, uh, doing this, this false wall here. Uh, I'm coming off, like I, like I'm coming off four and in five eighths. So it's a three and five eighths wall, but there'll be like an inch of gap. So the wall is a little bit in and out. So my wall will be perfectly uh, straight and uh, level. Okay. So, but also I had to hide the plumbing. If I, if I went in an inch, uh, the plumbing would be out of the wall too. Right. So I came out a little bit more just to hide the plumbing better. 
as well. So, um, and then, yeah, I, uh, you know, it's layout is, a, is, layout's tough. Layout's tough to show, like to teach, unless you're like literally right here with me. The, the main things, like main things are, you still need to make your drain. Yes, sir. Uh, the main things to pay attention are the um, two are the hash marks. Okay, you got them. You got to take your measurements from the same place as these hash marks, and then you need to know your your wall sizes and what size of drywall is going on them, whether it's five eighths or half inch. Okay, because these numbers are finished to drywall. So you're, you're, you're going to want to go, um, so for, just for example, one foot five inch there, right? That's to drywall. So you want to go uh, one foot five and a half over to your steel and then three and five eighths over to your other side, your outside, right? So it's just, it's just a kind of watching very carefully where the hash marks are, paying attention to the size of drywall that's on the walls, right? And then of course your wall types. Um, you know, like this drawing too, like, you know, um, it, it's not always going to be 100%, the, but sometimes the, like, it's important to keep, keep into consideration your corridors, okay? They want finish, uh, four foot, three quarter inch, okay, finish on this, uh, this skinny part of the corridor. So no matter what, you've got to maintain that. So say, uh, because you we moved off of this wall an inch it's actually like three quarters of an inch more than what it worked like uh, than what it should be okay instead of having this three quarter into here we're going to take it from the inside okay we're going to take it from the inside right and if we really need to take three quarters of an inch we'll move this wall in three quarters of an inch you know what i'm saying um and it's like here we had to move uh we had to move this wall here to accommodate well not to accommodate for the eight inch right so this is eight inch so now the distance here to here is is smaller it still fits the the mop basin but this little piece of millwork is going to have to be cut right because we changed this from three and five eighths to eight inch so we have to take that number from somewhere this is the walk-in freezer and they will measure this on site so i could go out here or I could go out here to the sink, you know what I mean? But I can't take away any from this tiny little bathroom, you know what I mean? So that's how that worked out. So for a little tiny bathroom like this, your toilets, they want to be, you want to be 16 inches to center from the wall, okay? 16, inch, uh, 16 inches to center off the wall for your toilets. You can, the uh, plumber can put offsets, right? Use offsets that's as well. But uh, typically though, that's what, where you want to be. So it's like too bad this this vent this vent here i can't i can really move the wall but this is okay because it's just a vent he can go he can dip it in and up so it's not the end of the world for him there but yeah it's a kind of a pain when they're when they're off a little bit so there he'll need a little offset here but this one's perfect you know but you can tell just looking at it you see how you know it's off right like it's just off you know but if it was in a straight line he would have been bang on and then same with these here. I'm pretty, pretty sure these got to be inside there. So um, when I when I talk to him, I'm going to ask him if they want me to move this wall back, type thing. Um, but yeah, there's some changes. So you got to make sure when you changes like this. This year was changed to a six inch from three and five. So you got three and five here, a six inch. And then there's actually going to be a little. I think there might be a little stubby out this way a little bit. I can't remember. They might have missed that. Yeah, there is actually. Oh, there's a wall that goes straight across there. I didn't lay out. Yeah, yeah, right here. So yeah, and then it goes to three and five eighths, right? Um, so now too, right guys, there's a door. There's a door in this bathroom right here. There's a door. And, and, and because now it's an eight inch wall, the door ain't gonna fit. So we got to figure out something to do with that. I, you know, I don't, I might have to do one of those funky things again where it builds in, you know, like there's a funky little, you know, yeah, you'll see shit, you'll see. <laughs> Bit of a pain, but that's how it's done. So I don't know if you guys have any questions about layout, let me know, please ask me now. Um, you can see here we have a bulkhead. This is where the bar is. So there's, a, um, uh, I'll be running a bulkhead all the way around the bar. You can see my, 
my marks here as well for going that way. It's just like a big rectangle around the around the bar. There's a bulkhead here. And there's gonna be a bulkhead here in the middle. And then this is the front vestibule. This is a bulkhead here as well. So I got all my three and five laid out. And uh, yeah, so we'll drop that and that's that. Um, yeah, yeah, so there'll be uh, a bulkhead with a drywall ceiling here and one right here in the middle. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. We're getting there. I uh, got some time here to figure out the layout before the materials come. So um, yeah, I just a couple of questions for the contractor to see uh, where what he wants. But yeah, yeah. That's that. That's where we're at, boys. How is everyone out there doing? Eddie, uh, how's the girls, buddy? Oh, it's nice. I seen Christina popped on my la my last stream, I think, over over there at uh, the other place. That's cool. That was really neat. Oh, man. Let me see here. I, hate, I can't how I can pull up the chat. You could talk the then about using a bifold doors on the toilet stalls as <laughs> the space is small. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, my God. The toilet is going to be very high. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really tiny bathroom. I don't know, like for the staff bathroom, it's really, really tiny. Um, yeah, like you're... Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really tight in here. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they make these so tiny, but it's kind of crazy. The, uh, the, the public bathrooms are like, you know, the, this one here is like four or five times the size. <laughs> But yeah, guys, so yeah, it's just making sure like your corridors are, are like your corridor, you keep your distance in your corridors for fire access and things like that uh, in, in, in um, wheelchair, okay? But uh, you know, it's, uh, it's good. It's nice to have a nice clean open job. Uh, we got the lift in here. Uh, they got the ducts, ducts are all in, which is good. Uh, most, of our, um, uh, most of our walls are, are only 10 feet. Because the staff bathrooms are an afterthought. Yeah, right? Probably. Who knows? I, I, the water heater wasn't supposed to be on top of the bathroom. It was supposed to be suspended originally. So now that it's on, on the top there, we're going 20 gauge, 8 inch to hold it. So it's a few thousand pounds, the, the, like heavy. So, But yeah, we got all of our gear here. We're, uh, we're, we got our lights and our cameras. We're laughing, man. Max has got his rig. We're, uh, we had it out in the gimbal today. <laughs> that a big heater. Yeah, it's a big freaking heater, all right. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna go and run. Um, uh, we're gonna write a script for this pal tap stuff and then um, this is gonna be cool because we can, we can film a lot of tutorials here, guys. And um, yeah, yeah. So over the holidays, over Christmas, we'll be putting out a lot of material. That's for sure. I guess uh, through through November, December, January. Yeah, there's gonna be tons of content coming out, guys. So just gotta keep on. Yeah, that's Max. That's the cameraman. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He's the photographer, videographer. So yeah, man. Yeah, you, you guys, you guys have seen him already. You'll see him a lot more. So. But yeah, it's cool, man. You got to capture everything, right? Capture the capture the moment. <laughs> yeah, buddy, capture the moment, man. But no, it's too it's too it's too cool, man. Yeah, it's uh, nice to have this guy. Um, uh, uh, let it like you know uh, that we're filming with. Like he knows we're filming. We're gonna collaborate with him a bit, and you know it's it's nice. It's super cool, man. Yeah, yeah, right? How to take Christmas off. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you work your butt off. Um, you, you, you work like eight months worth of work in, in uh, two or three months, and then you can take, uh, take the time off. <laughs> That's how we do it, right? So, yeah, it's fun. Even, even the bulkheads, like I get the bulkheads down on the ground. Um, I, I only I did snap a control line here actually because the gravel was in the way, but then I ended up just shoveling out of the way. Um, but yeah, you can set on you can set like a, a find somewhere like I I put I snap this line here at 25 feet off the back wall, so it's just a it's just a nice even number. But 
um, I, I, you can get numbers, you know, off of it, transfer your numbers through it as just as a reference line type thing. So there's no, uh, you can do that as well, right? Just find a nice line somewhere. Um, but yeah, don't get it confused. I, I wish I, I, I would have snapped it in red though. I, I forgot my other chalk lines. I didn't forget them. I just didn't bring uh, my other buckets. And uh, yeah, I would have snapped it a different color, but that's, it's no big deal. I know it's not, it's not a wall because uh, I always snap both sides of my line. So I know that's not a wall, right? Um, and then this frost wall here, I don't snap both lines. It's just, it'd be just too close to the wall, right? I just snap the front one, but other, any, all the other walls, I, I snap both sides, right? So, and then you also too, you're not gonna get confused, like, you know, which is six inch and three and five and all that, right? But yeah, dude, it's pretty good. Pretty good motoring along here. Um, hopefully uh, the sub trades will be starting at the other restaurant uh, next week and hopefully we'll be able to drywall that uh, as soon as we're done the framing here. I'm hoping to go back there and, and do the drywall and taping and then come back here to do the drywall and taping when these mechanical electrical is done, right? But yeah, no, it was nice for this, this uh, tin basher to get in early eh, and get all his ducked up. So. But yeah, you can see the fire stop. Fire, it's already fire stopped. The whole unit is uh, separated properly. So uh, uh, that was included in the base building, which is, this is usually the stuff that I do, right? I don't, I don't, uh, I, I like doing base building stuff myself. Uh, but uh, these restaurants are cool enough. They're different, a little challenging, a little different. Um, nice to have the space to yourself, you know? instead of working on a big site with a bunch of trades, you know, I like having the site to myself. But yeah, guys, so yeah, I thought I'd jump on and give you an update. So uh, I wanna wish everybody a good day and I want you all to be very well out there. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back on to tell you the truth because I, the material for this isn't coming till next week. So I don't really have much to film, but um, if I can think of something, I will jump back on. So I, I, I do gotta lay out the doors. Um, I could do a live stream while I do that even. And then and I'll, maybe while I'm snapping the last couple of lines or whatever, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, dude, so good to see you guys, Eddie and uh, uh, Dibs and um, um, Man Deep. Guys, good to see you guys, everyone else. Yeah, that's nice chunky gravel. It's actually really nice gravel. Um, I wish I could take it, man. I really do. But really, you just need to get it out of here, man. But uh, have a great day, guys. I will see you soon. Uh, make sure to like the stream so that the notifications keep going out for me. And Night, Nightbot's always here too. Yeah, yeah. Nightbot and uh, stream elements. <laughs> right on brother i'll talk to you soon man this weekend we should maybe game or something like i'm gonna have um i'm gonna have the the kids um by myself this weekend courtney's going away for the weekend with her girlfriend so uh it's just me and the kids so yeah bud we'll play some games or something <laughs> all right guys take care bye for now and uh if you have any questions just leave it down below i'll get back to you guys bye guys